came out here. He had a, I think, again, another, it was a fine start. It wasn't as crisp as his first start, I would say. Um, but again, he always finds a way to maneuver through a lineup. He pitches us, you know, reasonably deep into the game. Um, he would obviously like that that slider back that he threw to Alberto. I think that's obviously uh, that that's that's pretty straightforward. But um, overall, I think he looked good. His stuff was a little down today. I think he was a little less crisp than he was his first time out. But he still found a way to keep us in uh, in the ball game when we're facing a good pitcher on the other side. So we had a chance to win the game. That's what that's what we're looking for. And you're looking at where he is. Is he going to be back to where he was in your mind as far as such a dominant pitcher? He's runner up for the Cy Young before he went down. Yeah. Do you I, see that? Do you don't see any lasting implications from the Tommy Jonathan? He point? looks really good. His uh, his stuff is pretty similar to what it was when he um, had his really good year over here. And uh, again, he has the, the awareness. He has the feel when he's out there. He knows how to uh, take advantage of, of hitters. Uh, he knows what hitters are trying to do, and uh, a lot of the time he's able to, uh, you know, use that to his advantage. He does it real well. He's very cerebral, um, but uh, you know, he's 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 a competitive guy too, and I'm sure he's not going to be overly excited about the the effort today, even though I think he threw fine. And what was that early conference where uh, it was you and Griffal? What was what went on there? Yeah, they're concerned with where our base coaches were standing on the field. So if they're um, you know, that worried about that, they'll just let the umpire know and uh, then we'll make an adjustment. And um, their coaches made an adjustment too. I don't consider it any sort of uh, conversation. You know, Wander's a big dude, but do you wince at all when he's involved in a couple of collisions out there on the base paths? I'm concerned, uh, you know, always for our player, but I always worry about who he's running into more so <laughs> than, uh, than him. He seems to come out of those collisions with people and objects. Uh, you know he's been fine. He's he, and he's had a few of them. He had another one, I think, in spring training, um, where he dented a wall. And you know he's he's a big man, and I don't know if he feels the, you know pain nor in a normal way. Um, I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, you know, Rocky, you say that Larnick, Walner, Buxton, Kepler. I mean, big outfielders are in, aren't they? I mean, there's not many five, nine, five, ten outfielders anymore. Right? Well. There's some good players that that aren't you know overly big guys. I think we just happen to have a good athletic, uh, you know, strong group that they can they can do a lot of different things. But um, you still find players of all you know all sorts uh, when you look around in this game.